just Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. Today I thought I'd go ahead and do a haul video with you. Uh, I'm gonna share what I got in my BoxyCharm this month and some parts that were sent to me and products that I picked up and everything. So let's stick around and see what I got. Keep on watching. Okay, so throughout this clip, you will see me putting on some of the products or like kind of doing a little demonstration, not in everything, but several different things that I thought maybe some people might be interested in. Let's get started because there's quite a bit of stuff here that I want to go through and show you guys. We'll go through the BoxyCharm first. Uh, this is a monthly subscription that I do get and I'm actually really loving it, guys. This is the second one I got and a correction to the last one that I got. Now, the last one I got, I believe I did get it for $15, but I think I ended up with some kind of discount code. I might even use somebody's link, and that might have been why, because I feel like I was charged $15, but it was just for that one time, uh, like a discount code that maybe somebody's link I used. This is $21 a month, but still, for what you get, you get all full size. Like, from what I understand, and so far within these last two boxes, yes, everything's all full size. So for $21 getting full size products, that's really good. And that's what made me jump on this subscription out of all the subscriptions that I usually see from a lot of other people. So, and then not to mention the products. Here it has, would you be my Galentine? And so it's all Valentine themed related. And then it does have listed here the price for the products and what you get which I really like a lot. Now, the one product that everybody is thrilled and tickled by, and so am I, is this is the Dr. Brandt Micro, Micro Dermabrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. And this is a two ounce bottle. This is a full size. This retails for $79, and that's well over past the $29 that you pay. So the next thing that I had seen in here, I did give you a 25% off Dr. Brandt with your next purchase. So you can get anything from his uh, line and get 25% off. That's good. Then we have, and I've never had one of these, a Z palette. And it actually has the BoxyCharm word on there. So they did work with BoxyCharm and do a cute little Z palette. Now this is one of their smaller ones. I was excited to see this because I do have Makeup Geek uh, loose eyeshadows and I do have like one MAC and I've never had anything that I actually got to purchase yet and which I was going to get a Z palette or something similar to this to put them in. So this is like my little starter for a little Z palette and how cute is that? This, where are we at? Small, a small Z palette. Retail prices for $14. So speaking of Makeup Geek, they gave you two Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And I was so excited because, well, I was actually hoping first, they're not the ones I already have because I do have several. I don't have a whole collection, but I do love her eyeshadows. Now, I did put both of the eyeshadows on my eyelids, so I am wearing a couple of her eyeshadows on. The two I ended up getting was um, Prom Night was one of them. And Prom Night is like a taupe, a really pretty uh, shimmer, shimmery taupe color. Prom Night, very pretty taupe shade. And that's what I have on my eyelids, Cherry Cola is the other one. So, and Cherry Cola is a matte, uh, like reddish brown shade. Oh my goodness, I was so excited to get this one. There you go. So there's Cherry Cola and Prom Night. So I have both of them. And the Cherry Cola I did work along in my crease area with Prom Night. It says the retail price for the eyeshadows are $12, which they're $6 a piece. And now these are a little bit loose in here right now, but these are two eyeshadow brushes because I used them already when I was putting on the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. 
and this is the Omnia Eye Kit by Royal and Lankel. Now I've heard about Royal and Lankel a lot from other beauty YouTubers on here. This retails for $29.98. One of them is a shader and one is the detailed, which the gold one here, this one is the shader. And then this one's the detailed one here. So you'll see a clip of me using these, putting on some of the Makeup Geek I, so eyeshadows. So this one is what you use to put all over and pack on your eyelids. So I'm taking the Makeup Geek shadow that was in my BoxyCharm here. This one's in Prom Night. So I'm going to use that on my lids. Still like very nice makeup brushes. So I'm trying to see how well they perform right now. Ooh. Perte, perte, perte. Okay, so packing that on is really nice. I like that. Not to mention the eyeshadow is so pretty. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Love, love, love. Okay, I'm using the Precise Brush that they sent, which that's a really nice. These feel very nice and sturdy and durable and they just, they're beautiful. I love it. There's like rose gold and gold. So I'm going to use the Cherry Cola shade and start working it on the lower lash line along the uh, outer corner there and work it in a little bit. I'm kind of excited because I have an e.l.f. one similar to this, but I don't, I don't really have too many other ones. So, Ooh. Oh, I like that. It's kind of, it's um, a little more stiffer. Is that what I want to say? Stiff, like more stiff feeling to it. Oh yeah. Oh, I, oh my God, I like this. So much more better than the e.l.f. Because it's more dense, like more dense, more stiffer or something. It blends nice. And does get precisely under there better than some of my other ones have. <laughs> Very nice, guys. Ooh, I'm liking, liking it a lot. <laughs> and then lastly in this box, I got Reflecting Gloss by Juice Beauty. Uh, this is $15 and my shade is in Fig. And that is what I have on my lips right now. I have a lipstick on and I put this on top and it's really nice. It's, um, it is definitely not a sticky gloss at all. I kind of noticed if you ever used Juice Beauty products, they always have like a lemony scent to them. And that's kind of what I, I smell from this. It has a nice, uh, doe foot applicator, really nice doe foot applicator. And it kind of goes in with the whole color theme that I have. So right there it is, that's fig. The next thing I wanted to share with you guys is Carol from the O'Carroll Show sent me some items. One in particular item that she wanted to send out was the uh, silicone sponge. And I did do a demonstration on it. I still am working with it. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it uh, quite yet because it is something different and unique. So, but yeah, she sent you know, one of the uh, silicone sponges in one of these packets here. And here is one of these. I've never tried this shape. I have another uh, different kind that I used to use, but I'm actually liking this because I do do my peach fuzz on my face and this is a little more better to use for that. The one I had was a little bit more smaller, like half the size of the blade there. I actually like this one better. So I'll have to find out, Carol, where you got this from. I know my Walmart sells something similar, but I'm not sure if it's the exact same. Also, there's a perfume. This perfume is Pure DKNY, and I never tried this one. Um, it smells amazing. It really does. It smells really nice. So I have to look into that because I do like a lot of DKNY um, perfumes. I've had their um, the the ones that are supposed to be like apple apple in them or something. So this one's the pure one, and it smells really nice. It's right up my alley. So you must know me pretty well there, Carol. 
Oh, okay, so glow minerals. There's a glow minerals in medium here. I think this, oh, this is a tinted primer, so I'll have to try that out. I don't think I've tried anything from Glow Minerals. I've heard of them, but I've never tried anything. So that'll be interesting. This I like, it's a little uh, container, it's an empty container, but you can take it on the go with you. So if you're gonna be gone for maybe over the weekend, going somewhere, you can put maybe your moisturizer in here, uh, maybe a little bit of your foundation, cream foundation, your favorite foundation in there, just anything like that. These little containers are great. Thank you very much, Carol. You know, I will put these all in good use. And then the other thing is, I have a surprise from Pure Cosmetics. They sent me uh, some of their, eye they've got eyelashes now, which didn't even know that they had any eyelashes. So they gave me a whole bunch of their eyelashes in there. I'm new to the eyelash world, but I do want to try some. So I thought this is going to be fun. So this is called Trendsender. I mean, like, look at those lashes. Uh, this one here is called Social Light. They're a little more lighter, fluttery kind of ones. Um, I'll show you one more here because there's quite a few in here, but these are called Bombshell. Those are definitely bombshells. So, hey, Pure Beauties, nothing makes our hearts flutter like lashes. We are so excited to introduce our new cruelty-free pro Pure Pro Eyelash Collaboration with celebrity makeup artist, looks like Milani Vigar, Vigar. Um, it says these three, I don't know her, I feel bad, kind of, because, well, you know, I mean, I feel like I should know all these people. Um, but it says these three, these 3D silk lashes are designed to enhance all eye shapes and blend in with your natural lashes for a range of eye looks from better than natural to ultra glam. Uh, we hope you swoon as much as we did when we saw the cl collection from Come Together. Uh, we can't wait for you to share your looks with us. And here's a picture of like all the different lashes there too. So I'm going to give them a try. These are some items that I picked up in Walmart. I picked up, I, this is like one of my favorite body cleansers from Cress. It's the uh, with white peach orange blossom, and this is my favorite one. And they have a nice big size now, so definitely picked up one of these. I love the scent. Okay, another thing I picked up was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Everybody's been talking about it. I didn't see the concealer, I did see the powder product, the uh, setting powder. I didn't pick that up, but I will be picking it up. I'm going to try it out. I wanted to try the foundation most of all. Mine's in Buff Bisque, which that's actually what I have on right now. It did match my skin perfect. I was quite happy because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work out. I got, so that's why they're like, like, like this, because you'll see a demonstration with me using the foundation and these sponges that are from Eco, Eco, Tool, Eco, eh, bah, bah. Eco Tools. So I... You'll hear me discuss and talk about it. You get two sponges, one for the face. This one's for the face. And then you get one that's for uh, concealer, like doing it for your concealer and that. So you'll see a video clip of me sharing that right now. The Eco Tools says it's a 50% better application than the leading prestige sponge. It's a new look, always eco. Perfecting Blender Duo. Best with liquid and cream makeup. There's two unique sponges. Use wet or dry, but I'm going to use them wet. Wet and Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation. Mine's in Buff Bisque. That's pretty much what I thought maybe might match me. So we'll see. I hope so. And it has that flat, like spatula applicator, like a spatula kind of a thing. So we're going to try this out and see how well this works. I'm gonna try the rounded side first because I know a lot of people seem to use that side a lot. Hmm, kinda digging, digging this. Looks like a good match for me. So it's probably good that I picked this color because it looks like a good match. 
Of course, the ears. This is a pretty nice foundation so far. Now, there's these other sides here. Maybe I'll use them a little bit to kind of blend in a little bit more. I feel like here you can kind of get in the corner a little bit. Looks like a nice natural kind of finish. I would say it's light to medium coverage. I'm fine right here because I'm not somebody who wants a lot of heavy, heavy coverage. So that would not be me, but I feel like you could probably build it up. So that's pretty nice. What do you guys think? All right, I'm gonna try the concealer. I'm just gonna stick with one side, show you guys one side here. So, okay. I think I'll use this. I don't know about that side too well. Look up, I guess. Uh, doesn't seem too bad. I never had the Beauty Blender, so I can't compare this to that. I'm just trying this out in general. We'll go ahead and maybe use this. This side here would be a little harder to work. That's one side. It's not too bad. I mean, it gets right up in there. It's a little, it's a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. For me, anyway. I was looking at the Hard Candy. Hard Candy has like a lot of new different things for lips, for eyes, just all kinds of different things. And I seen this duo here and it says Over the Moon. And I thought, oh my goodness, it said something about their best selling shades or something, which that should have caught me right there. I, I mean, I, I was thinking it said best selling, like, of their bait, like, their best selling baked. Uh, blushes and I was thinking they were new colors and it's called uh, Over the Moon. Now I've been trying to look on here to find exactly the colors but I can actually tell you I think I know exactly what colors these are and I did put them on today but I do have these as singles because I thought oh my gosh and here they are here you get like the duo and this one here I used as a highlight. That is actually uh, what was the shade called Honeymoon or something like that. And that one I've always used as a highlight, which you can see, I mean, that wouldn't even work as a blush at all. Right there. You can see the shine there. This one here I'm pretty sure is the doll one. I forget what's it called, Living Doll, something doll. I cannot remember it, but it's that pink one that was very popular. In their collection and that's what I put on my cheeks as my blush so it was like kind of for me it's like a blush and highlight and I'll keep it because at first I thought oh man what should I do at times if I do travel or something I could have my a highlight and a blush so I figured that will work out I can't remember if I showed this lipstick in another haul. It is in this bag and then I felt like maybe I did but then I wasn't sure you know. So if I am re-showing it I apologize. I can't quite remember. But these this is one of um, Rimmel's lipsticks. Now I'm not sure what collection this is because it's more of a red tube. It's a little bit different. It has that shape octagon square kind of a shape with the crown on top but it's red. Now this is a number 200 Salute Hopefully you can see there. And it was a pretty color. They have a lot of pretty colors. Now this one, it's not, it's more of this kind of a lipstick where it has the flat top. It's not rounded or anything, but this is a really pretty shade. So that's why, of course, I bought it. So right there it is. Salute. Okay, and then the next place that I went to was my kitty's rubbing on me. <laughs> he's in. He's in here with me. I went into my Rite Aid and the Rite Aid down here where I live at downtown 
is closing. The one up on the hill will still be open, thank goodness, because I always love going into Rite Aid. I find great bargains, great stuff. And then the one on the hill is a little bit better because they have the more newer stuff. The one down here, oh, I know, honey. He's probably saying, hurry up, mommy, get off here. So everything in my store, though, in my Rite Aid, that was closing down here was like 50% off when I went in there that day. So, so for hair, I Strictly Curls from Mark Anthony. It's from that collection. It's a mousse, though. It's from that Mark Anthony collection that I've really been liking of the shampoo and conditioner and then the curl cream. I never tried anything from Shea Moisture at all. Never anything. I know they have like stuff for the body, stuff for the hair. Super fat. Yeah, boy, I can't talk. Super fruit complex soap with mango butter, 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 butter. It's a butter, butter, butter. <laughs> with mango butter and green coffee bean extract. And it does have a really nice, it does have a really nice scent. So I thought I'd give it a try. Why not? 50% off, you know. Then I was excited because I found the Wet n Wild uh, eyeshadow primer that I really like. The photo, this one's the photo focus or something. It was from the Fergie and then they changed it. So the other thing I got was the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Cleansing Pads. Oh my! Come on! These are the pads that I've shown before that I really like. The one side has uh, where you can exfoliate your skin and then the other side's more smoother. I really love these um, I, I buy them. They're a continuous thing that I buy all the time. This was exciting because they did have some of the Fit Me concealers. And this is the shade I originally wanted to get the one day. And I grabbed the wrong one. So the one I've been using, it's not too bad. But this is more of a lighter one. And this is in number 15, Fair Claire, Fair Claire, or something like that. So half off, I got one of my Fit Me concealers that I really love. Never tried this one. This is the Cover Girl Ready Set Gorgeous uh, Fresh Complexion Oil Free Foundation. It's a number 105 Classic Ivory. I've never tried this foundation. I have tried a couple of other ones. It's a hit and miss usually for me with Cover Girl, but I thought I'd give it a try because um, they were kind of pretty much getting out of the foundations anyway. So, and I wanted to try it. I wanted to find one that I haven't tried. So I did pick up another one of the Katy Perry lipsticks that. Uh, from the CoverGirl collection. This one says Couture, Couture Tricot something or other. I can't quite read it. Here's the shade right there. So I figured I'd try that out. Okay, honey. Next one I got was one of the Maybelline lipsticks, uh, number 450 uh, Romantic Rose. This one looked really pretty and it's in the purple tubing. There's the shade. That's really pretty. Right there it is. That's pretty. Romantic Rose. And then I did pick up one of the Revlon Ultra HD lip product. I think it's in the shade Addiction. These are nice. They're like a liquid lipstick. These are really nice um, liquid lipsticks. That's a pretty deep color there. There it is there. Addiction. Very pretty. That is my haul video. Like I said, I knew it was going to be kind of long. So definitely I'll be editing in this whole thing and sharing different things with you guys. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you can come join me each week. Make sure you hit the, hit the subscribe button down below. And also make sure you hit the bell because the bell will notify you and let you know when my new videos are up every week. Uh, so if you want to keep up with what I'm doing and kind of see what I'm sharing and everything every week, you'll want to make sure you hit the bell button. And as always, remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. Love you guys. Bye. Could have slept here for days.